out why it's useful to show the rate of disease per 1,000 population or per 100,000 population instead of just showing the number of cases of the disease. We're going to look at this example data set, which as you can see has localities, some of which are designated by numbers, some of which are designated by names resembling fictional place names, and a variety of popular books, TV shows, movies, comic books, etc. It also has the number of cases as well as the population and then the incidence rate. If we were to make a graph of just the number of cases, it does provide some useful information if we just wanted to take a section of those localities, say the first 30 on that list, and just see the difference in the number of cases of this disease. It does provide some useful information. However, we do have to keep in mind that for some locations they may have wildly different population sizes. For in this example data set, one of the localities, Coruscant, appears to have a much larger population size than the other ones. Wakanda also seems to have quite a large population size in comparison to the other localities in this sample data set. However, once we take the number of cases and take that population into account, we come up with this graph, which shows the rate of that disease per 10,000 population for each of those localities. This graph shows some additional insights, such as locality 59 appears to have a much higher incidence rate of this disease than any of the other 30 localities that we're looking at in this graph. Similarly, if instead of looking at the rate per 10,000 population, we were to look at the rate of the disease per 100,000 population, we would again notice that locality 59 appears to have a much higher incidence rate than that of the other localities that we're comparing. Looking at the incidence rate per 100,000 population could also be useful, for example, if wanting to compare this rate to a certain benchmark or goal of wanting the disease to be less than that goal or comparing it to the national or the state average, then depending on what the benchmark or goal is set at, if it is set at an incidence rate per 100,000 population, it would be more useful to look at the incidence rates for the locality you're interested in comparing it to per 100,000 population. Similarly, if the goal or the benchmark that you're wanting to compare it to is set at the incidence rate per 10,000 population, it would be more useful to look at it for the locality at that rate per 10,000 population. In conclusion, showing the incidence rate per 10,000 population or per 100,000 population provides additional valuable insight, especially when comparing the incidence rate of the disease across different localities that have varying sizes in population, or if wanting to compare the rate to a state or national average, or compare it to a benchmark or other goal.